Alright guys, it's that time again. It's uh, the Alrighty Show! <laughs> we have a special guest today. He's a loving father, a loving husband. It's Tom. It's Tom Duff. I should start with Duff, maybe Duff. Tom Duff, like James Duff, Bond. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we got some stuff we're going to be talking about today. So, uh, we'll be starting with Danny's segment a bit. And his is strippers. Um, it's a very broad topic, but we'll get into that later. Uh, we'll have um, Stefan Entertainment, Unnatural versus Natural. Uh, Brett segment, we're going to be talking about that new Ted Bundy movie. Um, I'm also going to go into my segment. We've got a few topics we're going to go into there. And Dwyer has a surprise for us, he says. So, we'll get into that. How was your... Uh, Weekend. Nah. Good, Danny. I didn't Candy. <laughs> Dwyer, where's the white van? <laughs> I don't have one of those. I don't own one. I was drinking Dwyer. Candy van. That was fine. I did a lot of movies. You could be Tony Todd. No, a Mexican no. candy man. Most definitely. A Mexican candy Todd. man. Mexican. I'm not even Mexican. How would that work? <laughs> you could pass as a Mexican. But I'm not. You look like you could be whatever. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> why? Why you all? Why you all hating on dude right now? How is that hating? That's a compliment. It's multicultural. What about you, Danny? How was your weekend? Man, it sucked. I had to work. I'm just ready to win the lottery. Honestly, fuck you, this shit. You didn't get attacked this time. Was it? You didn't get attacked this time. This last three episodes, you said you got attacked by what was like a dog. His dog. <laughs> nah, no one attacked me this week. No, no, Maybe no, next no, week. No glasses. So no glasses. I'm yeah. Like, I, I do look amazing without glasses. All right. Am I Get right? Context. Am I right? How can you tell? You can't even see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I, 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 I can see myself. Because you're blind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck. Call me Helen Keller then. <laughs> Are you wow. you're deaf, dumb, and blind? No, she was smart. Don't call yeah. her dumb. She was, oh yeah, she was they smart. said it in Clerks. She was deaf, mute, and blind. Yeah. What about you, Brad? How was your weekend? My weekend was alright. I worked. Oh, sounds like fun. Stephanie? It was fun. Uh, Tom Duff? Uh, it, was, it was pretty solid. Wanted pretty to rugby game by like 40 on Saturday. And then, uh... 40? Yeah, the one you were trying to get me to come to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We won by like 40. That's cool, cool, cool. Solid. I'd like to add on to my week. Oh, it wasn't that bad, you know? Huh? You just said it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> when, I went yeah. to work, when I went to work, it was horrible. Oh. But when I left, it was fantastic. You why? usually why leave at 6 in the morning. Tell us why. Oh, I think I know. Had a couple shots and beers. Makes everything go by faster. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I don't know about what was the and good thing that happened. Uh, that was just a, I was able to go to sleep and be home. Somewhere I wanted to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that made it great. Bro. That was the greatest thing ever. I mean, ever. I wouldn't consider leaving work at 6 in the morning and going home drunk as fuck amazing. Well, I'm not always drunk as fuck when I leave work. You said you had some shots Sometimes and beers. Sometimes could be amazing, though. It is yeah, definitely well. amazing if you get drunk and shit at work. That'd be pretty cool. So we're going to talk about strippers going into the Holtz feed. Holtz feed. <laughs> So, Danny, you said you wanted to talk about your infatuation with strippers. Well, I elaborate. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm infatuated with strippers. I would. Tell I respect them for their mad dance skills. From the stories I've heard, that I think you are infatuated. I mean, who isn't with a stripper? You just said you weren't. Now you're saying who I, isn't? I'm not infatuated. Which is it, Danny? I don't know. Just, We're you're... gonna change your name to Contradiction, Danny. See, it just depends on what night you get me on, you know. Band. I mean, what I want to talk about strippers tonight is what they do for this country. (laughs) (laughs) They're so American. Oh, my God. I mean, there's a lot of stressed out guys in the world like myself. When we get off work, we just want to go somewhere and relax. And they take you for everything. <laughs> and they take all your money. <laughs> they help you relax, bro. Yeah. Danny, I want to ask you a question. What's the most you've ever spent on the stripper that did not give you sex? <laughs> What's the most you've ever spent? Probably a lot less than you have. No, I've, used, I've had some text messages and when you said you blown like four or five hundred bucks. No. Yeah. Not four or five hundred. Not four or five hundred. Yeah, it's up there, Brad. It's up there. Not four or five hundred. Any? And they be paying their Show me these tuition. text messages. I don't have them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but why are you being on the fence about it? Show me these text messages. <laughs> this, this, yeah. No, it's true. No, Wait, it's true. No, show me these texts. used to go to Purdue Cal. God damn it. Show me these text messages. Anyways, yeah, they 
You know what's nice? It's good to have a beer once in a while. I mean, you know what sucks though is when you get the really skinny ones that look like they're on drugs. I'm like, I don't want that. One. <laughs> That's because you're drunk. What do you mean you don't want that one? You literally say you want to dance. Not contradicting. You just said they're for America, just not the skinny ones. Not <laughs> <laughs> so, so like seventy five percent of strippers. Like, yeah, you got it. Twenty five percent of commies. The thick ones. <laughs> Danny, yeah. you're literally... Like, yeah, just not the pregnant or really fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them suck. <laughs> no, I, I think I think strip clubs need to change, though. Like, I don't want to pay to get in. I should be able to walk in like a man and not pay. <laughs> awesome. Walk in like a man? Also, you gotta pay for your dance? Fuck that. Wait, they just handed out dancing for so free. You, That's where how they make I should be money. able to walk into a random building after work. <laughs> yeah. Dance on my naked women for free. For That's free. what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm Somebody saying. Somebody pass some fucking legislation. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my tax dollars should be going. <laughs> Fuck the That's models. what I want. <laughs> that's what I, I want. Universal <laughs> free prostitution. <laughs> I mean, others <laughs> might up, call it prostitution. I look at it like a good time. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no, you do. How they going to pay college tuition? <laughs> I don't know. That's that's up to them to, to figure out. That's what they're doing. I mean, oh, that's why you guys spend four or five hundred bucks on. You know what? Money. I should be able to tip them what I please for an answer. I don't know, man. Sometimes you get <laughs> like right in that. Does it really matter? <laughs> I'm saying that <laughs> things should change now. Does it really yeah, matter? That, things should that, change that's now. That's just gonna just drop down to like one fifty <laughs> every time you go. Man, I'm saving so much money. You're just gonna go twice as much. Hey, you're gonna Whoa. spend that amount anyway. Hey, at least it was for a good time because you can you can quote me for this. When we went to the casino, how much did I lose? Two thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> so I'd rather pay a stripper like four or five hundred bucks. So you'd rather just go blow money on strippers and waste five hundred dollars instead of two thousand. That's your logic. Yes. Yeah. Just, just go in debt. Yeah, but you could have just bet five hundred. Yeah, it'll take you longer to go in debt that way. You didn't have to go to two thousand. And he's getting something he likes. When he's gambling and losing all of it, it just sucks. Oh, it yeah. did suck. I was impressed. He's paying for a service that he actually enjoys. <laughs> but he wants it to be universally free. It's like, <laughs> like health care. Yeah. <laughs> and that should be free too. For America. certain people. America. Certain America. People. Certain people. So uh we're all for that. Uh so whoever's uh gonna be president next, we'd like some universal free prostitution. God it's bless the, America. I think I think it's just the strippers. Though, Hashtag not, not torture prostitution. Oh, oh, right, right, yeah. right. I don't just think just wait, strip, you know, uh, can I can I tell you guys I'm pretty sure it's not strip. prostitution if it's free. Yeah. It's consensual sex. That well, it's they don't free. have to have sex. <laughs> they just want lap dances. So, they just want lap dances for free. So realistically. Uh, well, uh, well, <laughs> nothing illegal not, about it. <laughs> it's free. Universal <laughs> free stripping. If we're going to get detailed about it, I mean, just run a Yeah, business. more than a we're dance would be nice. He said, yeah, more than a dance would be nice. I just own a warehouse with 39 couches in it. I mean, you know what I mean when you go to the strip club and the strip club? Oh, no. Five dollars sucky sucky. And I'm like, yeah, that's no. awesome. What? That's, you, that's that's never happened. Never. Never would do that. Casting. Only five dollars? <laughs> okay. No, I'm over exaggerating. Yeah, yeah. You're like, under exaggerating. Under exaggerating. <laughs> He's like, I'm over exaggerating. It was only for free. Under over it doesn't matter. It for free. What matters is Yeah, but I what I really wanted to talk about strippers tonight. I think they should have like I want to say like Las Vegas or like some of like the higher places like California, Miami. Like the ones that look good there, you know? Yeah, like, they're called showgirls. Yeah, they're called entourages. Or bur- burlesque girls. And they get fucked for money for free, or legally. Like Las Vegas, you get more. Yeah, not entourages. <laughs> they're, the same, they're the same thing. Well, I feel like... Entourages and escorts are the same I feel thing. like strippers no, nowadays yeah. don't have like, care about their bodies or whatnot. I'm like, when I go to the, uh, the strip club and I see a cow... I'm not gonna want to get a dance from you. Well, like, what strip clubs are you going to? Yeah, go to classier you strip clubs. Stripper. Like I'd rather go to Atlanta than if that's gonna be. Where the do well, you go to see fat strippers? Clearly, Gary. Like, yeah, clearly. I'm, I'm saying every strip club should have like a certain mandate on who they hire. So just, you're saying they should just be like super prejudiced to body styles? Yeah. Like, 
I mean, mm-hmm. different strokes for different folks. As here. if all the men that come in there like the same exact thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like all the men don't look like cows themselves. Yeah, they don't like those either. <laughs> yeah. They have to be perfect all the time. I think they have to be perfect. It's only what I think matters. Oh. oh. It's the Daniel Law of Brother Dan. He still gets slap dances from the fat ones, though. I believe it. So believe what? It. Hey, sometimes it's slim pickums. So I'm He's going. having the best looking big girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I want to say like they kind of hire fat people. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you just said. I I know. I mean, Contradiction I, Dan I, here. I'm, I feel bad now saying that. You but should. I'm, but unless it's like. I'm unless like, it's like, big girls need love too. He's, yeah, he's like as fat as me, like, no, you can't be fat. <laughs> you have to rub your naked ass on my fat side. But you can't be fat, you dumb bitch. You're punching against his own kind. Oh, this is just obvious. This just is. No, I just, I don't know. It's maybe. Oh, wait, all right. That hires muscular women. Or fit women, I should say. They should have fitness <laughs> standards. Maybe, like, give them free gym memberships. No crackheads. You know what? That'd be you cool. You have to pass the Army female PT test. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. Like, <laughs> you have to work be on your bodies model. a little bit. You, you, you <laughs> have to qualify for Army infantry. Because I'm telling you. You, if you must look, be this tall to ride this ride. Because if you have yeah, a... This thing. If I can see cellulite on your ass, or you can see a scar, or some saggy tits, I'm not getting a dance from you. <laughs> Well, don't worry, he can't see any of that without his glasses. 80% of women have cellulite? Yes, they God do. Goddamn, Dan, he's probably a slim pick. He said <laughs> <laughs> Dan's the perfectionist when it comes to his strippers. I guess. That's why he spends the big money, I guess. But not the skinny ones. So no. which ones? Or the fat ones. <laughs> I don't know. The hey, no. He, he doesn't like the skinny ones, the fit ones, or the fat ones. <laughs> so which ones do you like? He likes men. You gotta let us know. He likes men. <laughs> I, I, I like the black like Amazon that. women. Like, like the Amazon? The tall. The big ones that can like lift you up. Like the fit ones or like, the big like ones? Like the ones that can lift Game you up. Thrones? The ones that can lift you up. I mean, yeah, yeah put me in their pocket, you know? Like, I mean, come on. We don't. And then black and tail. Insane. They get it, they get it. Didn't that dude in Game of Thrones also suck on a giant tooth? Weed probably cost more than that. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, it probably did. It most definitely did. Them niggas be buying like hundred dollar frames. I'm sure. Like they be getting fast. And he's smoking weed and he's an NBA player. And guess what? This is the off season, so he's gonna get drug tested. And if he fails that fucking, um, or if he gets uh, convicted, he's also gonna get punishment. Idiot. I'd be like, you know what? Y'all can suck my dick. You're gonna say that? I'm like, alright, we're not gonna fucking pay you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh shit. Let me rethink hmm. that. Okay, I'll stop. Several million dollars I, a year. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. no. Yeah. And this I'm is a seven million dollar blunt. <laughs> Josh Gordon. Yeah, yeah, literally every time. And he still gets a chance to come back to the NFL yeah. every time. And he's still going to rehab. He's living a lot. He's, he's still, still making going millions, to going to all these. He's not going to yeah, he's probably gonna play for seven more teams <laughs> before he retires. Yep. He's still young good. too, which is nice. He'll be forty years old. He still just gets his, blunts. At least he only gets his guaranteed salary. Yeah. He doesn't get like all the. Who are we talking about? It's Josh still, Gordon. And the guaranteed salary is like seven hundred thousand a year, man. Like, psh, I'm gonna get seven hundred k a year, and I still get to smoke weed, and all my medical bills are paid for. Hmm. And they're gonna pay for me to go to rehab. And he got a Super Bowl ring on top of it. And you think it's just any ordinary rehab? It's like some, some lit celebrity rehab. 
Yeah, they'd be in there yeah, partying. Yeah, Adrian Peterson, I remember when he hurt his knee, he was like, I was spending $10,000 a week on yeah. treatment to come back early. That's why I came back early from my knee surgery. I'm like, oh, damn. Well, okay then. <laughs> Cryotherapy. $10,000 a day? A week. Yeah, or a, a week. week. A week. <laughs> they come out, bro. They got the money. They don't care. Just <laughs> random, random uh, thing I'm going to say. Cubs just lost. Okay, who cares? I care. They want to. We care. So that's. We're going tomorrow. So. They're on a seven I game care. winning streak. Eight. It was eight. Well, we're going tomorrow. No, they're on a seven game winning streak, I believe. It was eight. It was eight? Yeah. I'm not even going to well, just ended, so. We're eight. still number one, I believe, so. Who cares? As long as it's Cardinals win. You're a Sox fan, though. I am a Sox fan. Yeah. But we're going to a Cub game tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to find you a nice man. You used to be a Sox fan. Like, hardcore. Red Sox fan. No, White Sox. Red Sox. White Sox. Kevin Nicholas. Woo! Ladies, we're digressing. Um, do you guys remember <laughs> Billy McFarlane from the Fire Festival? <coughs> yes. He, he ran, had the festival and they were like fake and yeah. Yeah. Sure everyone's lives. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what he's doing now? What's he doing now? Guess what? He is in prison, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's behind bars writing a memoir. A memoir. About what? Memoir? To about get memoir. money. About his... Uh, Events of what happened, and his point of view in the whole entire story. He's called it. Um, hey, so he's got a stupid name for it. Um, like, it's like a don't do this. You're going to prison. Don't do this. You'll go to prison. No, it's called Prometheus, the God of Fire, or F Y R E. Are you going to buy it? Prometheus, or you mean Prometheus? Whatever, same shit. Are you going to buy it? Might I buy it? Fuck no. Um, and you know what else he said he got his inspiration from? You'll never guess. What? Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort's the dude from The Wolf of Wall Street, mm-hmm. that movie and whatnot. Oh, he like, stole a- millions and millions of dollars from people. He got his inspiration from that guy. Oh, yeah, because he's a crook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, well, I think he's getting at, he also wrote a book from prison. He did. And made a lot of money. <laughs> so he's like, I think now I, I can write a book that, yeah. in prison. And, and make, make a lot of fucking money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's the whole money, and now we're about to make money. So am I making fun of him, or should I not, since it's going to make millions probably off this stupid book? Oh, fuck him. I hope he doesn't. He said he's going to take all that money, because he owes like $26 million or billion to people, and he owes the Bahamas people money and everybody else. Is it the money that he makes from his book he's going to use to pay back Bullshit. All them? Bullshit. Like, yeah, bullshit. That is bullshit. But shit. this is the same dude selling like Met Gala tickets on bail. <laughs> uh, so what was that that festival all about again? How he festival. ripped everyone off, yeah, and they had like no shelter, no crazy, food, the most epic, nothing. Yeah, the Pablo Escobar's island. Yeah, it was supposed to have like every major artist in like the EDM and hip hop community ever in the, at that festival. And no one knew about it? it no, everyone knew about everybody it. Everybody knew about it. That's why everybody was spending their money on it, and but it never happened. But no one knew what the fuck it was. Like, like they the were promised villas and everything, and they just got tents with no lights. Like, they slept yeah. on ma- soaked they mattresses. They were emergency tents from, like, natural disasters. <laughs> and it's pitch <laughs> black. That ass. Because it was bad. they planned it two weeks ahead of time. Like, they're like, all right, well, we're going to start doing this now. Let's go start getting, you know, the fucking places for people to sleep. Oh, let's just start going running out some villas. Oh, they're all fucking occupied right now. They never even went to the villas. And then they had the Islanders help them and said they were going to pay them and never paid them. So mm-hmm. did the concert people, like the people singing and stuff, go there? No. No, they didn't they know about booked. it. Dude was just writing his name. Like writing a bunch of names on a list, of, like this is the lineup for the festival. Buy tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and kept telling people and kept borrowing more money from people to get other shit. And he was just throwing parties. That's all he was doing. Just throwing parties. Fucking dumbass. Oh man, that guy's a. Fucking but he had the to know he was go to prison for that. Hmm? He had the to know he was to go to prison for that. Yeah, but he just kept going. He's like, yeah, no, we're gonna get this done, guys. Yeah, that show was this. fucked up. We got this. even the day before. He's like, dude, we can still bail and just. Make sure that no one fucking comes here and flies here and ruins a lot or whatever. He's like, no, nah, it's cool, man. We got this. Okay. And then it fucking rains. It just ruined everything. everything. And nobody, <laughs> nobody came to sing or anything? Oh, no. No one came. They all fucking Nobody came, showed so up, bro. Nobody. Everyone was there. No. no and like, <laughs> like, like, look, it's not happening, Just the bro. people came there. They're it's like, not happening, the bro. They're like, what? what? <laughs> they never got their money back today. No. No. That's no why he went to prison. How much money he was expectedly lost? Oh, millions, dude. 
twenty six million dollars. And lot. then and then when he was on bail for that and all these credit card like um she had like a separate credit card it was like a black card but yeah he uh he was selling Met Gala tickets and other tickets for other establishments that you can't get tickets for like they're just you have to be invited from that event from them personally. And that's like insanely hard to do. He even tried like he to was selling it to the that. email list that he got for the fire yeah. festival. <laughs> <laughs> and they go about it. He was about breaking the law. <laughs> he's like, fuck it. He's, he's like, like, I just fucked you, but hey, you want to buy some more tickets? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Like, I swear this time it's for real. I think he's trying to run off on the plug twice. Yeah. Bro. So that's all you have to do to make money nowadays. Is just, is right, I can just go get buy but it's some. like, I just went to prison for this. Let me once again yeah. steal money in the most I obvious way. Let me just get up real Actually, there was a crackhead couple in Florida that got arrested for this. <laughs> they were they were selling spray-painted like slivers of wood, and they were like, oh, buy gold tickets to heaven. People were buying that shit. <laughs> And then the what cops, is- the cops like searched them and found a baby alligator, yeah. some crack pipes, and a bunch of money, and some spray painted pieces of wood. And they were like, "Yeah, man, listen, Jesus told us we had to sell these tickets to heaven because his friend, this alien named Steve, said he'd fly us to his home planet. This is a giant crack rack, and we can smoke as much crack as we want." <laughs> and they were like. No. You're going to prison. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, yeah, like six grand in this backpack from selling people wood. <laughs> you can't do that shit. <laughs> Listen, dude. All I'm saying is, if you can do that, who's really stupid? The crackheads or the people buying from the crackheads? Both. Most well, definitely the people buying. From the I, I, I think those people just had enough money that they're just like, ew, get away from me, you fucking crackhead. Like, okay, six thousand dollars worth scared. though. They're scared by those people. Some like, people are <laughs> trying to buy You don't know what to expect. You yeah. don't know what the fuck to They might be on bath salts. Might be on bath salts trying to eat your face. <laughs> <laughs> they they eat can rob you, you, bro. Like, with, like, yeah. instantly. They can rob a big nigga. I'm talking about a monster, dude. Like, they're fucking crazy. Eat your face? Yeah, like, dead ass. Like, do, back, do a backflip and then <laughs> eat your face right after. Oh, brains. <laughs> A little bit too much. A um, little bit, sorry. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is that new song that Logic and Eminem just came out with. Oh, shit. Homicide. Homicide. I love it. It's pretty much testing every single rapper out there just mumbles all the time. It's pretty much saying, dude. I haven't heard it. What happened to the lyrics? Oh, it's cool. You can make a beat. You can rap about making money and getting bitches and doing all this shit. But, hey, uh, talk about some real shit for once. I'm liking it. That's what it's about. And I guarantee you, Logic, just like, like this is like a great moment in his entire life. Like he, he literally said when he went to post that song on Instagram, he put Logic featuring Goat Homicide. Because he, Eminem is the goat. He got the rap of his idol. He's like always said that Eminem is one of his idols growing up and stuff like that. It's gonna be a really cool moment, man. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Listen to it, guys. Homicide's a really good song. Yeah, I liked it. It was cool. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm looking forward to listening to it. What? Yeah, I haven't heard what? it. What? You haven't heard what? it? What? 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 Reminds me from that Tim Allen uh, home improvement. <laughs> <laughs> he does a little bit more manly than that, but oh, yeah, okay. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm head boy. I can't do impressions like that, but yeah. yeah, we all know your voices. So. Fuck. <clears throat> Try to send Tim Allen my Christmas list. You wouldn't accept it. That's because you're like the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> Ouch. He's not accepting us anymore. going at your heart, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always. We're about to go into Steph. Into Entertainment. Ooh. Yay. Woo. Unnatural versus natural. Take it away. Uh, before we talk about that, I'd just like to talk about the Met Gala. These outfits are insane. J Lo, you rocked it though. Did you guys see J Lo's outfit? I did not. No. Nope. Need to watch the Met Gala. Like kind of it's kind of a big deal. Scenes. Oh, I know. I've heard. If I was invited to it, I'd definitely go. Go ahead. She looks like the Dory show. I no, mean, you have to be like one of the I'll be up in that bitch. best dress. We can't afford that. <laughs> like all the boys will be up in that bitch. Like, what do your dresses cost? Five hundred thousand. Like, no I'll big deal. Wear, I'll let you. No wear big a deal. Beat. I would rock American Eagle there. Just, just chill there. Wow. I'm sure they'd be kicked right out. Outfit to sponsor them out there, but yeah. 
Would you wear a dress? Would I wear a dress? No. Because I'm not you. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Mike's a cross dresser. He's definitely not. <laughs> Let me find yeah. out. He's wearing a Viking hoodie, so I can see it. Okay. Yeah, so I, I make crotch dresser. <laughs> I have my penis. Anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah. Are you like from like Silence of the Lambs? Uh, uh, fuck, what's that guy's name? Uh, Hannibal Lecter? Your whole joke. No, it's not a joke. He's in the movies. He's like, he put lotion on his skin. And Buffalo gets, Bill. Buffalo Bill. He's like dancing with this lady's skin. I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what are you doing? What does this have to do with anything? He's talking what about the, cro- the cross dressing. But what is that? Like that's Jeepers random Creepers? thoughts with Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Jeepers Creepers. It's just cross dressing. No, you can't. Just after. Yeah, you're cross dressing. Yeah, you cross dressing. That's what I was referencing. Yeah. All right, Stephanie. Same shit. You got unnatural versus natural. All right, so. Natural versus unnatural. So. I would like to know your guys' opinions on, do you like fake titties, fake ass, oh, fake lips? Oh, yeah. I mean, you love strippers, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but, so but, I, I've been waiting for someone to ask me this. Yeah, but none of Danny's of strippers can afford that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some do. He's like, let me tell you about my exact experiences <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my notebook out. <laughs> He's like, I have a long list. I just want a motorboat of big ass pair no, of titties no. that are huge. Like but do you want natural or unnatural? That's the point of this segment. I don't care if it's natural or unnatural. So you don't care? I don't care. Be. Okay. The only thing I do care about is like changing the ass because it can go wrong in a surgery. Well, so can everything else. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. That I is mean, true. I didn't think about that. It's like you did not. If it's done, <laughs> if it's done well, it doesn't fake, matter. Fake tits can look pretty good. Yeah. Fake ass to me has always just like looked so bad. Yeah. It's I, just I, like you can tell it's just so much, much bigger than Side the hips ass and stuff. It's too much. Yeah, like and it's just like that just looks terrible. It's too much. I couldn't do a fake ass. No, natural big ass, absolutely. Yes. But fake tits all the way. Natural mm-hmm. tits all the what way. What about you, Brett? I prefer natural. Why? Just because it's like that's what her body's meant to be. And then unnatural just eventually it just looks weird. It can look really nice at first, but then later on can turn into something they regret. Yeah, it can it can look amazing. I I'm not saying I dislike unnatural, just I prefer natural. I agree. I just think natural's better. Especially if you get it from working out. Because you can build a really great natural body through, like, working out. Oh, really? Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. You know diet and exercise. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Basically. And ladies. I mean, unless you ain't got no boobs, then you're fucked. Uh, let me you give you the proper right, so she wants to get a boob job. Boobie. And well, I've actually been told by women that have gotten boob jobs that it can actually make them very lethargic and demotivated. Like it can, they can cause a chemical imbalance in their body. I've heard From that too silicone. Well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And actually, if like you go get a hack job at a cheaper rate doctor and they give you something a step below silicone, it can actually no. cause like issues. Like what kind of issues? Like, yeah. uh, did you, you guys see a thousand? Uh, yeah, infections. It, it but did you? It can leak. Did you see a thousand yeah. ways to die? Where the lady went and got it in like Costa Rica or something, and then when she went on an airplane, the it elevation blew change blew up because what she got, the, the liquid changed. was barely a step above a water balloon. Yeah, you have to wait. Well, no, wait. Like what? Do you think it settles? No, that's that's diving, dumbass. No. Still, no, so I'm saying, like, I thought you like like after having a procedure like that, I was going on a fucking plane right away. Mm, no, so not, have to. Mm. So her tits maybe, maybe for blood <laughs> oxygen levels. I thought it was a bomb. Can you imagine that? You're just sitting next to this lady, just. What the fuck? Fatality. Jesus Christ. Her, her damn tits exploded. Her damn movies exploded in my food. There's a bomb on board. Where her food right in his eyes. Like, oh my eyes. Tit blood. Milk everywhere. Red Milk. Pies. Milk. Or Danny would still pop. Milk yeah. everywhere. Yeah. 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 You should be thinking She's about the freaking. She's pregnant too? You should be thinking about the low grade silicone. The silicone. Silicone. Not, 
I thought women always had milk in their tits. Yeah. You got milk in your sure. tits. <laughs> <laughs> they do have they, tits. They do not always have tits. Yeah, they don't always. What do you think, I don't Stephanie? Got tits. Okay. What do I think? Yes, um, about unnatural versus natural. I think women should learn to love themselves the way God made them, mm-hmm. but also like. I don't know. I feel like if I had a boy's body and I had like the money to get boobs and a butt and lips, I would. So if you had a <clears throat> boy's body, you would get boobs and a lips. <laughs> and a butt. I don't mean like have a penis, but you get what I'm saying. Like oh, no, I was confused at first. Like, you know, is she a transvestite? No, <laughs> like, I just no. picture her being a woman. At this point, I have no idea what being oh. a man is like, but I really enjoy my life. Should have so, if I was a man, you no, needed I'd to, try to look like You need to right. clarify that. Let me clarify <laughs> for you. If I look like a stick, then no. Then, yeah, I would g- probably get something done. Because that's boring. Me and you I mean, both, sister. If I, I could know. have all the money in the world, I'd fix this gnome dick. <laughs> I, I, is there is there a, a freaking <laughs> surgical procedures in case of velocity dick? <laughs> Dude, first of all, it earlier all the time. First of all, wait. <laughs> uh, Danny, first of all, earlier you told me you do cock push ups. Are you telling me that was a lie? It doesn't work. Out, that that is a lie. Contradiction work. Danny again. It doesn't work. I believed him. Isn't it true that I can do cock with a no dick. Strength like that, though? Like, just saying. Yeah, he, he's that weird area where he doesn't get the dwarf dick. He just, he's like five foot three, so it's just a tiny penis. How did we get talking to dicks? This happens all the time. Unnatural versus natural. We're not talking about dicks. Well, Danny Who did. Has it? Danny brought up the penis. <laughs> But you, you can have an unnatural, unnatural dick, can't you? Yeah. How do you have an unnatural dick? Simply. You ever seen OG Mudbone? That Ripley's believe or not. <laughs> <laughs> Ripley's One believe or not. Unless you're like a woman unnatural. turning into a man oh. and you take testosterone to enlarge your clit. But you can have an unnatural dick, by the way. You can. Penis plantation. Uncircumcised penis. That's gross. I thought circumcised was unnatural. No. Cir- yeah. Uncircumcised is what comes out. How's that unnatural? That's still yeah. unnatural, oh, yeah. That'd be natural. So we have unnatural, unnatural dicks, that's better. Yeah, that's way better. My dick's way unnatural. Way better. Too big. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Uncircumcised ones are kind of scary. Sorry. Scary. Basically, what, scary? basically what she's telling us is the man's natural penis is scary. Mm-hmm. She just said scary. Why is this scary? Because it's like a is, fucking anteater. Is that hard? Is that hard? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, actually. Oh, that's hard bark, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Squidward. No thanks. No thanks. You can hide a Jolly Rancher in there for when you give him a lunch. Ew. Yeah, it can come out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was leaving some candy no. in there for you. <laughs> what, are you what, what do you think? Yeah, don't, what do you think? Uh, I don't really care. You don't care if it's unnatural or natural? Natural straight. Natural straight. Yeah, natural is the way to go. You're like, fuck it, I don't care. No, I like, it's cool, whatever you do. If you look good, you look good. But if you look like shit, I'm not messing with that shit. I don't know, there's people, like, the girls you can specifically see, you know. Oh, yeah, there's some that you're just like, oh, my God. Why are you like that? Who hurt you? I will say, I will say, natural's good for a lifetime, unnatural is good for a night. Damn, right there's my... Right, it's wisdom out there. Oh, yeah. Quote that, guys. I don't know, man. No Kylie Jenner looks pretty good. <laughs> you know, everything's fake. Um, it's going to go on Brett's uh, tombstone. Kylie Jenner looks good. Yeah, she's also really, really young. Wait till she gets Kim's age like, and her Kim ass looks ugly retarded. Good. She looks good. She looks good, like, to sell stuff. Yeah, but I think I'd Until you take the Snapchat yeah. filter off. What? Until you take the Snapchat filter off. Nah, Kindle's hotter. Yeah, definitely. I like all the Kardashians. But they're all, yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, but she's kind of too skinny <laughs> for me. And let's be honest. She's said too skinny for me. Hey, we're making progress because I remember talking about Kim Kardashian back That's in the day. That's a whole nother <laughs> combo, <laughs> <laughs> Dwyer. Y'all were saying, oh my god, Kim Kardashian's stupid. She, she is. Because she wants to be a lawyer. That still doesn't mean that I wouldn't put my dick in her. Like, just because she's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is rated XXX. How do we know? I have no clue. Five foot two, maybe? No, she got at least five foot. I like those Amazon women. She's not an Amazon. 
Yes. What is your definition of an Amazon woman? She's like seven, seven feet tall, swole as hell. She's five three. Dude, I'm gonna be by honest. Three, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be honest. Know. I've seen one of his <laughs> Amazon women, and they are freaking huge, man. Yeah. They're like twice Danny's height. Is, it, oh, you like tall? Yeah, he likes a seven foot. What do you think? Like, Amazon is huge. Dude. Kevin Durant ass bitch. He wants him them to carry him. Through I don't the even door. have. I don't even have to go down on them. I just have them to stand up. I'm like, <laughs> 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 he's, he's like a little hamster trying to get through the water wheel. Dude. <laughs> like straight up. Now we're about to go into the short <laughs> and sweet segment. Brett wants to talk about Ted Bundy movie. Zach Efron. Woo! Zach Efron. You. Soaring, flying. Oh, that's when I fell in love. <laughs> he remembers that song to a T. I'm gonna do a spoiler. Right. Alert. You break your feet. Speaking of High School Musical, I just watched Modern Family, the first like episode ever, and I'm watching what do you think Phil. Back in, with his kids when they're younger, and he's like, I know all the moves to High School Musical, and he's got it on. He's trying to dance and sing it for his kids. He's like, Yeah, he's all in this together. And he's like doing all the moves and shit. I was dying laughing. Dying laughing. They can't see you dancing. Yeah, no, you guys can't see me dancing, but uh, I got most of the moves, man. That was I literally thinking the same thing. I was like, What the fuck is he doing? He's just doing the moves. You know what I'm saying? He's like, Wait, they can he look at it. Up. He... All right, so what about this movie, Brett? Yeah. So, who who who's seen the movie? Me. Me. No, you haven't seen it. <laughs> Danny, Danny, Danny wants, has not Danny seen just it. Wants to be involved. Oh, shit. No, I, I've just seen the the Ted Bundy doc, documentary. Oh, I started watching that yeah. too, but I fell asleep during I, it. I, I gotta rewatch feel, it. I did not see the Zac Efron movie. Anyways, yeah, I didn't know what to expect going into this movie at all. Like, I didn't know if it was gonna be like a slasher or what, but. I was expecting it to be like more gory. I feel like this was more geared towards like him and his the way he was so charismatic to the media and pretty much how he swayed everybody. Because I feel like this was more about how it was a love story between him and that girl. I just think it showed like how normal a person could be, but a crazy murderer. Like in this movie, he just seems like. A good person, like a regular person. I mean, no, no. Ted Bundy was actually running for politics. Like he was with a woman for six years who had a child, and like he took care of the child, like all this. But yet he was like out murdering bitches. Dexter in their ass. Like that's insane. <laughs> like you guys could be murderers. Yeah, I mean, one thing. I, I think that was the point of that movie. One thing I saw that I was like, I find so crazy is that. um I don't know. I have a brain fart. I just really? Yeah. You cut me off for that? Dropping the ball. Always cutting me off. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'll, I'll, I'll interrupt you in a second. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does that all the all time. All right, Brett, so what did you think? I mean, I thought did it was... Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Because the thing about it is everyone wants a fucking slasher film for some reason. But the whole point of it is it's it's basically taking all the actual footage of Ted Bundy and turning it into a movie. So, I mean, that's the whole point. Like, why? I mean, even a, a survivor of Ted Bundy came out and said she was happy with how the movie turned out. I remembered what I had to say. Okay, what, what is it? He had to cut right off. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me. That's so, what he does. In the movie, he, he he's so manipulative. Like, he's always convincing everyone that he didn't do it. Oh, fuck yeah. He did it all the way to the end, even when he had death row. He's like, you know what? You don't have to go to and die and he's just go to prison for life he's like no I didn't do it still he still didn't dude do it. you know what that he reminds me he of he does that bro like, he I just know for I'm fucking crazy and then people. finally right when he's about to die that's when he's like alright fine I'll tell the truth fine. yeah but what's even <laughs> more crazy is like he didn't even want a lawyer like he was studying law yeah oh cause he thought it he was, was that badass and every case crazy. that he took he, he just well oh, I'm gonna win don't worry about it I'm gonna win did he win? Don't worry. No. Well, no, no. He Obviously he didn't win. What are you doing? You don't know the story of Ted Bunny? The worst lawyer of all time. Oh, did he win? Is Ted Bunny Chris still around? escape artist of all time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so, El Chapo. Can we? El Chapo wins Off the that. window by jumping off the, his uh, chapo <laughs> bunk bed. Yeah, but he kept getting his dumbass caught. Look how many times. For every time he escaped, he got caught pretty fucking fast. 
Six days is not really Because you can't control them. Yes, six days is very fast when you're searching for a serial killer. Six days? Oh, that's six days to murder people. Six days? Catching somebody Which he did. in six days is fast, dude. If There's people that get away and never get found. Yeah, six days is fast. Especially he's hiding in the fucking mm-hmm. mountains. And it was the 70s. Six days is fast for them. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have all that they didn't shit. Have no tracking devices. Nothing. They bloodhounds out there, fucking searching fields. Naked. And they thought they didn't know if he actually did it or not. So back then, it was, it was that's that's fast. Yeah, it wouldn't be fast. No, no, no they can do that. They can do that probably in a day. They do it, like, especially if you can't walk sorry. straight and shit like that. And you're like, oh my god, you <laughs> toad, and you want to cream on a crown like rob a bank or something. <laughs> you're fat, you know. five foot three. Person tell about a tattoo on your own. Little dick. Tattoo? <laughs> no, <laughs> we got you. We got you. No questions without a doubt. We got you. So imagine being this man's daughter. Because he actually knocked someone up like while he was in prison. Yeah. He's in like, witness protection stuff. right now. But yeah. isn't that crazy? No like? shit. Yeah, because uh, the families of the people he killed want to murder her because they want to get back at him. Like, they want to kill them. You know? Well, you know what? Uh, you know, I was thinking her. about that too because... Here's yeah, the thing, fair, when I saw that Ted okay. Bundy, when I saw that Ted Bundy had a daughter, BTK has a daughter also, and she wrote a book. And BTK is still alive, and it doesn't look like she's in witness protection or anything like that. Yeah, it's weird. It's different. I don't know. It's not, how's it different? Spiked. He's a famous serial killer too. It doesn't matter. People get spiked for killed, like, who they killed. Did he what, kill but did he kill people? women and men? BTK killed everybody. Okay, I think, I think it was it? actually. I think it was exclusive to women, and he was a church deacon. So. I don't know. This was back in the 70s. I don't know. If I was a serial killer's daughter, and no, I would be in the witness protection program as well. I don't know. That's just kind of I wouldn't be like, me. hey, Ted Bundy my dad. Because you don't know, and a serial killer, that's the thing that confused me about Ted Bundy is a lot of serial killers, they have different motives, and it's kind of like Dex- Dexter. He didn't have emotion. What if, De- like, did Ted Bundy actually love this girl he loved and did he actually love the idea of the kid that he was going to have or love her when yeah. she was born you yeah. don't know that well, I, th- I, th- I, think, I think because that. of what because I, I think two because things. he didn't kill her well, no, that no, doesn't no, no, mean no. he loved her I think there's two things I think every serial killer needs something and I think he fixated on one particular girl so much and killed so many other people because he needs a life to portray to other people to make him seem like he's invisible to them so that's how he would manipulate those girls. But when those girls started figuring out who he is, he'd either kill them or he would push them off to the side when he didn't need them. And Zach Efron showed that in the movie when he had that one girl and she stopped answering his calls. What did he do? He moved on to a different girl. Nah, yeah, but he no, he didn't. didn't get over. No, he didn't. He didn't. He did not. Serial killers don't just move on. Bro. No, he didn't move on. Like move on. Like move on, but he went on to a new girl and started manipulating well, a brand new girl. Right. Manipulating her, but For he money, never. His yeah. first girl, he never really manipulated. He and he was still calling her behind this other girl's back. True. I mean, he was locked up, and this other girl was like willing to die for him so yeah he's gonna manipulate her but but he never once said i i love you you did, did you see when she asked him that point blank how he got off the the subject he's of like, it will you marry me he's like he's like she's like he's, she's like do you still love her and he's like she's not here you're here blah, blah he never once said no i don't love her it's true and he never said i love <laughs> you damn you're just running this for time right now so many spoilers. She's like, fuck, I'm not watching this shit. Oh, spoiler <laughs> alert. Another one. They show Zac Efron's booty. So ladies, watch it. I haven't seen that movie. I wasn't paying attention. You're in my front yard. Don't play. Bang, bang. No, don't play. He's like, it's in your spank bank. <laughs> yeah, click, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so uh, Yeah. What about you? What do you think? Did you watch it? It was not... The best. That's how I feel. It was a waste of time in my mind. I wanted the slasher. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I think of when I think of serial killers. He did fucked up shit though. Like he when did. they said he like cut off someone's nipple and yeah, like that was, bashed that like this girl's like, head mm. in. It was like the size of a baseball. Like and then, like ripped off a girl's panties to where it left rug burns on her thighs. Like that's so fucked up. You know, you know what? Yeah, it's really Cutting fucked up. Cutting someone's nipple off? 
You know what's actually really weird is like we can look up and research because serial everyone's fascinated with serial killers, mm -hmm. and they get these big names and they look like legends like Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy. You hear those names and you think legend. Zodiac, yeah, yeah the Zodiac. But you go back and watch old videos of Ted Bundy. You watch this movie with Zac Efron, and they're just people. It's weird. They're like watching Ted that Bundy. That was the point of this movie. That, that yeah, opinion. that's that's. It's crazy. They're not show. some kind of supernatural serial killer. In their mind, they're just people, too. And back then, before you convicted these guys, they looked like just people. And I think that's what Ted Bundy was going for. Because back then, nobody knew Ted Bundy is a legend. People knew Ted Bundy is this young law student that was being accused of these things. That's it. And it's, that, that's what's crazy to me. Yeah. I, uh, I was disappointed in this movie. I wanted to just like Dwyer said. I wanted the gore factor. Yes, this um, they don't movie have also disappointed though, me because it reminded me of the Jeffrey Dahmer movie I just watched not too long ago. I forgot what it was called. And that one, like, I didn't see any killing. It just showed like a more personal, like, like their I don't know, just their their vibe of it, I guess. And I don't want to see that. I wanted to see like the core part of that. Like, How are they gonna show part. killings in every serial killer when a lot of that's hard to prove? You said what? Like, like you say Jeffrey Dahm or you say uh, Ted Bundy. I like because you got, they already know how they die. They, they, you give a coroner's report and whatnot. It's not really hard to read. That well, thing. the thing about it the is... the families, too. Like, why would I was they... just going to say that. Yeah, here's the thing. They're not going to show... What it is is when they bring out serial killer movies, they're usually focused around actual live footage of situations, not the speculation of the murders. And then on top of it, the actual thing is a lot of... Famous like um, Leatherface, he's based off actual serial killers, like Ed Gein, that dude. The whole entire Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Buffalo Bill, all that shit is based off that one serial killer. So they they've already made these movies, but they can't they can't show serial killer movies and show all these people they killed because those were real people. I mean, you, know? you can. You can, they, but it'd be really do. fucked up. They do. Just get permission for some of those families. And then the movies they do get money. I'll pay yeah, you two hundred dollars for like they show the photos and stuff, like in documentaries. Yeah. The photos. Uh, that's one thing because the families have already seen it, and they'll they'll maybe get some royalties for it. But to actually Is it not re their family's fault. To reenact. Like, oh, watch. Let I'm gonna intentionally watch this dramatization of my daughter being murdered. <laughs> well, if now I'm mad. Though. Well, if I knew that, there, <laughs> if I knew there was a movie of one of my best friends or my brother or my family get murdered on Netflix, I'm gonna eventually watch it. But how is it their fault? <laughs> yeah, but it now I'm mad though. I chose to watch it kind of pissed. It's okay. Nobody cares now. You chose to do that to yourself. Yeah. Mm. So I think they can still do Netflix that. Netflix was like, hey, come into this room, let us know if you think this looks good. And they're like, oh, what are you talking... Are, are we redoing something for the documentary? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are you showing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> that is so fucked up. And like what oh, Brett just said. People, Bro, we should make a movie. <laughs> If a friend or family member said he would watch a documentary. <laughs> it's almost as bad as your mom doing porn. Now you can never watch porn. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was we... thinking about that the other day. Porn stars having kids. Never watch porn. Imagine, why can't you just not watch your, your mom's, mom's porn? porn? Because imagine exactly. she's like a famous porn star. And it's like, well, let me watch porn today. Boom. First page. Fuck! Hey, Jeff, you don't have to watch just, it. Just, just, just go to scroll, scroll past it. You gotta scroll past scroll it, but it's already a picture it. right there. Go to one of those adult film stores and just buy one there. You don't have to yeah. buy one. Yeah. Or go spend out your mom's <laughs> porn site. <laughs> Well, hey, Jeffy, let's see if I get fucked. <laughs> like, go to a different I'm porn sure site. I'm sure mine will let you know yeah. which porn site just, she, she's uh, fucking Or just, like, immediately search a name at the top that's not your mom. Like, <laughs> not uh, your mom. That's what I'm saying. That makes it Alexis, hard. Texas, Texas. <laughs> like, you know, she's, yeah. like, she's, like, she's already, she's having a kid. Who cares? Who cares? It doesn't make her. She's a porn star. It's not your mom. That's all that matters. Exactly. Sam brings a whole new meaning to the word milk. So I don't give a fuck. Do you want to see your mom get gangbanged, Jeffrey? Oh no, not at all. I don't know how you can get on. I have no clue. Start up from the bottom of our ear, dude. What the fuck? We're going to go into uh, being blunt. 
So over the weekend, man, uh, Canelo Alvarez took on Jacobs. Uh, it was a good fight for Canelo, even though he was off. He was off. He wasn't fighting like himself as much. And that man, when he hits you, he makes you pay. He didn't do that in this fight. He got rocked, too, in the fifth round, bro. So, I mean, you don't see Canelo getting rocked like that. But he got rocked. It was a good fight. Damn. Yeah. No knockout, went to decision. I haven't seen Canelo fight since he fought Triple G. Why aren't you watching Canelo fight? I don't know. I'm slacking. You just think because he beat Triple G, there's no competition that's better than Triple G? Yeah, it's probably... Mayweather beat Canelo, didn't he? Yeah. Mayweather, Mayweather's never lost. Yeah, Mayweather's <laughs> undefeated. Yeah. 50 and 0. Beat everybody. <laughs> well, that was boxing talk. Yeah, that was it. That's all we got today. Anything else? <laughs> Alright, uh, Dwyer also wanted to talk about... What was it? The Spider-Man Spider 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 Sorry. Ha, be a blunt moment. <laughs> be a blunt moment. I was blunted. So what did you guys think about the trailer? Um, it was amazing. Don't watch it if you haven't watched Endgame. As yeah. he says, I thought that was really like considerate, you know, for them to put that th- at the beginning spoiler. of the trailer. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, but I love Tom Holland. Oh my gosh. I love him as Spider-Man. Yeah. He's a good actor, man. He is so adorable. What do you think? But British, though. Right, that makes it better. Why? Because he's foreign. He's foreign. Okay. Okay. I it's think like, Jake Gyllenhaal is going to make a great Mysterio. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool, too. Probably. I mean, they have a lot of people in this movie. So watch the trailer, people. Well, I think it was <laughs> different because the first trailer, I thought Mysterio was a villain. Now it's looking like he's an ally. That's what I thought too. Yeah, you know, I thought that too watching the trailer. It's a twisty twist. Depends what Spider Man universe you're in, though. I mean, there's been different ones like Tobey Maguire's, uh, Andy Garfield's. I'm pretty sure we're talking I about the MCU. Like, I liked Andrew Garfield as Spider Man. I really did. I liked Tobey. I know we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, which I, I'm talking but about this original, movie so in particular. I, I thought Andrew Garfield sucked as Spider Man. So he I. did. So did I. I agree. <laughs> Who here misses emo Toby McGuire? McGuire. That's childhood, bro. Yeah. That's childhood. Yeah. That's, childhood. Yeah. That's, That's why. Well, Complete I mean, childhood. I just think Andrew Garfield was. Actually, trash. Peter Parker, dude. Trash, trash. I agree. Maybe I was just distracted. I don't know. Okay, what were you doing? Being a horn dog. Definitely not watching the movie. She probably fell asleep. And she just assumed it was good. She's like, yeah, that was a fucking great movie. No. Dude, I, that's what I did. I fell asleep. I'm like, man, I need to watch that again. <laughs> that was, that was a babe, though. Yeah, I fell asleep the second time. Yeah. It's like Jamie Foxx is the shocker. Yeah. 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 I didn't like him as that at all. I thought he was Electro. That's shocker. No, he was Electro. Shocker yeah, was, is different. Yeah. yeah, it's still stupid. Like that. I, don't, I just don't see Jamie Foxx as a villain. Like, I was kind of laughing. He was more, like, humorous. I don't know. I saw him in Django Unchained, and he looked pretty villainous in that. He's a funny guy, though. In that, that's a different thing. That's a whole different thing. But and as, super and guy. playing motherfucker and horrible bosses. A law-abiding citizen. Oh, I Snuck love- into her room. S- robbed her out of her, $20 out of her purse. That's why they call me motherfucker. I'm <laughs> like, oh, that's why they call me motherfucker Jones. <laughs> motherfucker Jones. Uh, but actually, you know what I uh, really liked about this new trailer is that it proves that they're recognizing that time travel and Endgame fuck some shit up. How you say that? Because I watched the trailer. Because of the multiverse. I know. I wanted you to explain it. That's why I asked you. <laughs> and I think this when it's when this movie's over, what Space Four will begin. I think this was will set up the new supervillain. I think it's gonna be Kang the Conqueror. Would it be? I don't know. Maybe I feel like the first episode of fa- or first movie in Phase Four would set up the new villain. I mean, but if they're going into time travel and different rea- realities now, he fits that supervillain role. Yeah. He went back in time. He was a ruler of Egypt. He went back into like different realities, controlled different times, different dimensions, stuff like that. Hmm. So he's he's up there with Thanos. Spoiler. So I could see him being not spoiler speculation, and the Fantastic Four 
them coming bringing that to the MCU. I think Galactus will play a, a big role too. Spider Man Secret Wars, I think that's gonna be big too. They're gonna go they're gonna be sent to a different planet. Morbius is coming out in twenty twenty from Marvel. Uh there's a lot of them. There's like I know like five or six, I think. They pop it. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, it's not like first twenty twenty is untitled. October tenth, twenty twenty, Venom two allegedly. Venom two, that'd be cool. I even haven't seen the first one, to be honest with you guys. Alright, so that's going to conclude our show. Uh, we appreciate you guys for listening. Uh, make sure to subscribe to us on Spotify and subscribe to us on Anchor and on YouTube as well. Just follow us, Doherty Show. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook, Doherty underscore show. Um, you can follow everybody else. You can know their Instagram handles if you listen to previous episodes. We're on 12 underscore mail. Tom Duff, we appreciate you being on the show today. Yeah, thank you. No problem, Mel. We out here.